Hi, my name is Vanessa Marquez and I am the founder of What to Eat and the creator of Bite Size Bariatrics. If after weight loss surgery you are struggling with indigestion, pain from the gas, or if you're even struggling with constipation or low iron anemia, ginger is an incredible, powerful herbal remedy that can actually help with all of those symptoms. Ginger actually helps your body to absorb iron. It's also really good if you're feeling run down or like you're coming down with something because it's got a spiciness to it. It actually clears up your sinuses and is able to get you, allow you to get everything that's in there, all that muck out. And it's also a really good digestive aid which helps to get things moving and provide some comfort when your stomach's not feeling great or is upset. So I'm Puerto Rican and I grew up on this tea and I loved it and I wanted to share this recipe with you because it has been so helpful for me after having gastric bypass 10 years ago. So I already have some ginger that I have already pre-washed. This is organic and the reason that I like to get organic ginger is because we don't peel the skin off and we do boil this root. I would prefer that it not have all of the pesticides and stuff that um, most other fruits have that you can actually eliminate some of it by peeling the fruit or the vegetable. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ginger and you're gonna need about a palm size. This is a little bit smaller than my palm, but that's a good um, gauge as to how much ginger you're gonna need. And what I will do here is I will actually cut it into long slices. And as those pieces get smaller, then just cut smaller sizes. I wouldn't worry too, too much about how thick, about a quarter inch would be good. And like I said, as you start to get into those smaller pieces, just cut them into smaller slices. Just, you know, keep an eye out for those fingers. So some of these pieces are pretty big. What I do is I just cut them in half again. And what I do is I like to put mine in my little mini food processor here. But if you don't have one of those, that is perfectly fine. You can take the back of your knife and just very carefully making sure that your hand doesn't slide up is you're going to crush the ginger just a little bit, just like that. And so what that does is it crushes the ginger so it actually allows for more of the spiciness uh, in the ginger flavor to be released when you boil it. If you have a mini food processor, that actually works too. You don't have to worry about crushing the ginger super, super fine. You just want to do it enough so that the flavor releases when it boils in the water. So I'm just going to take these pieces and dump them into my food processor. And I will go on high. And what I do is I just pulse it because I don't want it to be a continuous chop where it gets it really, really fine. So I do that just a few times. And as you notice, there are some big pieces and small pieces in there, but the whole purpose is to get them crushed so that when they start to boil, it just releases a lot of that flavor in the water. I already have a pot of water that is ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the heat on to high. And I have about six cups of water in this pot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out the blade and then just dump the ginger right in there. I just take some of that water and make sure that I get the majority of the pieces of the ginger out of the container. I let it boil on high for 12 minutes and then what that does is it really gets the flavor of the ginger in the water. After the water has boiled for about 12 minutes, then I turn the heat down to about a three so it's nice and low and I let it simmer for about another 15 minutes. If you don't like your tea as spicy, and when I say spicy, I don't mean like hot, like a jalapeno. It just, it does have a kick to it. Then I would just boil the ginger for about 12 minutes, let it simmer for about five to seven, and then take the tea off the heat. I like mine a little bit spicier. I also do add a little bit of milk, like a splash of milk or a splash of half and half to mine. That's just customary, um, 
you know, from my childhood. So it's one of, like I said, it's one of my favorite ways to drink this tea. And it's actually one of my favorite teas. If you're wondering what the difference is between this tea and like a packet of ginger tea, most of the pre-packaged ginger teas have some sort of honey or sugar. I like to control how much sugar I put in my teas or sometimes I put none at all. And depending on my mood, when I drink ginger tea that I have made is I may drink it with no sugar at all because sometimes I'll do like a splash of oat milk, which is already a little, has a little bit of a sweetness to it. And if I'm in the mood for something a little bit sweeter, then I will put like a drop of like liquid sugar just to give it just a little bit more flavor and sweetness, but not too, too much that it causes me to dump or it gives me an upset stomach. Tea is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down to three or pretty much low, let it simmer. I'm gonna do that for about 15 minutes and then it'll be done and we'll get to enjoy a cup of tea together. I do have a strainer. I will put the strainer right over the cup and then I like to use a ladle and just scoop the tea. Just being really careful that you don't burn yourself. And voila, we can now enjoy a cup of tea together. Another way that you can enjoy the ginger tea that you just prepared is to let it cool completely and enjoy it over ice. It's really refreshing, it tastes really good, and like I mentioned before, it's really good for indigestion if you feel like you're coming down with a cold, if you are anemic or tend to have low iron, and helps with constipation too. Gets everything moving because ginger is a great digestive aid. Enjoy the tea and I will see you soon. Thanks for joining. If you know anyone that needs this recipe, please feel free to share this video. Like and comment below. I would love to hear from you. I'll see you soon.